Yeah, so uh, my thing of the week, um, I finally got around to watching the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Uh, it's uh, it, it was it's it's a fun little fun little show. Um, obviously, you got uh, all the Guardians are in there except for Gamora, uh, and uh, she isn't. I thought she was back after the end of Infinity Saga. Um. Well, well, she's she's back. She's alive, but she's not with the oh. Guardians. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's uh, it was, of course, uh, James Gunn brought back to write and direct it. Uh, so the uh, it picks up where uh, they're on nowhere. They mm-hmm. they've taken over nowhere and they're rebuilding it. And uh, of course, it's Christmas time, and you know Peter's feeling a little melancholy, and uh, so. Uh, Drax and Mantis uh, get the brilliant idea to go to Earth and kidnap Kevin Bacon. <laughs> what? Oh, because he talks about him all the time. He talks about him all the time. Yeah. So the, the hero Kevin Bacon, and and so oh, they no. so they go. So they go to Earth and they they abduct Kevin Bacon. And uh, of course, the, as they're they're going back to nowhere, they find out that he's not really a hero. He's just an actor. And uh, and they're like, you're an actor. Actors are disgusting. They're terrible. (laughs) (laughs) Crashing actors. Uh, But uh, but it's it's um, you know it's it's a funny little uh, it's it's a uh, oh (laughs) add one uh, add another one to the Kevin Bacon conspiracy. (laughs) Uh, Well, they've just shortened up the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. By quite a number of uh, points there. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, few, a couple of a couple of dozen actors there, uh, but uh, but yeah, it's it's a, a fun little story, and um, you know they uh, it's it's funny and it's got a lot of heart, which you would expect from a Guardians of the Galaxy story, uh, especially mm-hmm. written by James Gunn. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, it's not very long either. It's only like forty five minutes. So okay, yeah. It's uh, it's short and sweet, and uh, uh, there is a little um, uh, character uh, thing you find out. Uh, uh, two characters are related, and I, I don't want to. Hmm. I, I won't spoil it, but um, but it's kind of a kind of a, a, a sweet little thing at the end there. So, okay. Yeah. So so out of curiosity, so in the Infinity Saga movies. I felt like the Guardians of the Galaxy were written significantly stupider than when Gunn was in charge of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, are they kind of back to their Guardians of the Galaxy two levels? Um, I would say so. Yeah. yeah like there, there's just yeah. a bunch of the lines where it's like, "Wow, the Russo brothers hate these characters, don't they?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I kind of kind of got that sense. Yeah, they're only here because they were required to be here because it's the last crossover. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, um, it, it, they're definitely yeah. They're back to the old, uh, back to the old guardians, and yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking of royalty, that that, that was an awful transition. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait. Um, Star Lord equals royalty because he was the son of Ego. There we go. There you go. <laughs> so you might people who watched the show might recall a while back that. I uh, did a did a preliminary. Uh, by the way, I just turned on my phone there for a second there because since I'm on my laptop tonight because I'm cat sitting, uh, yeah. I don't have access to my second screen to watch the conversation. So uh, uh. <laughs> just realized that was probably the, the easiest way to do that. Anyhow, uh, so people who watch the show regularly might notice that uh, I did Persona Five: The Royal as my thing of the week a while back. But that was like a very preliminary impression. So preliminary that I had no idea I had gotten so little distance into the game. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I'd almost wondered if the evil uh, volleyball coach was the villain of the game. Yeah. No, no, he was the starter villain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, so so now I'm, I'm, I haven't finished the game yet because that's a undertaking in and of itself. Uh-huh. 
So, but I'm, I think I'm far enough in that I have, I can have an intelligent take on the game overall. Cool. So what do I think? So for those who haven't played it, Persona 5 The Royal, and I'll just be brief because I've described this before. Yeah, Persona now do 4G. Um, that, that actually comes to Xbox next month along with Persona 3 Portable, so oh. um, it's on the to-do list. Okay. Anyhow, um, Persona 5, it's, ba- it's about Joker here who intervenes to save a woman who's in the middle of being... Uh, aggressively accosted. aggressively accosted yeah. yes yeah and uh, unfortunately the person he uh ends up uh ends up stopping is a powerful politician so he ends up arrested and he ends up many 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 miles from home mm-hmm. weinstein oh weinstein, you rascal yeah. <laughs> ninja <laughs> toe you rascal you <laughs> anyway, um and so he ends up at this school and he ends up uh, discovering that uh, he has this power called a persona, which effectively works out to, it's almost like you have a demon. I think, in fact, it's very, I think that they said early on that you give up your soul to have this power. Yeah, you make a, a, a contract with it. Yeah, that's the, yeah. yeah, that's the whole I am thou, thou art I. Yep. Now, Joker here is special because most people get one persona, but you can recruit monsters throughout the game. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the game, at the time, I was like, when is this game going to open up? Well, now, I think that the answer is kind of, it does and it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's basically two threads of the gameplay, and it often feels like they don't necessarily intersect a whole lot. So, like, what you end up doing is... You end up going to these people mind palaces where you fight monsters and turn-based RPG things where there's a lot of different mechanics that make it easy to cheese through a bunch of stuff. Like uh, you, you can ambush monsters and get the drop on them, but it makes it when you screw up and don't hit the attack button in time and they ambush you instead, just feel like all the more intense. Yeah. Like, oh, crap. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um that's the one side of it as a, as a standard JRPG. The other side is almost like a, you could redo this game without the battle elements and just have it be a visual novel and you wouldn't really notice much. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. There, yeah. There are times it kind of feels like a walking simulator. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it, now I say this is the presentation is the strongest part of the game. The soundtrack is amazing. Like I wouldn't put it up there with the Final Fantasy series in terms of actual beauty of music, but in terms of creating a particular atmosphere and transitioning pretty seamlessly between songs and having songs that you aren't going to be tired of hearing over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Like that's the real power of a good video game song. <clears throat> but yeah. That's great. The menus are weirdly dynamic. And I hadn't realized just how freaking big this game was because I didn't I don't have a PlayStation. Last Sony console I owned was, uh, well, a PS2. I also had a PS Vita briefly that I got as a birthday gift that I kept for about a year before I said, I never use this thing. (laughs) Which is, you know, I I could have possibly played Persona 3 uh, Portable on that, but at the same time, I didn't quite get what the series was. Honestly, I kind of went in with like a a somewhat negative attitude and it won me over. I have not gotten to the point where I have a waifu in the game yet. Uh, I was originally thinking An seemed cool, but she kind of turns out to be basic pretty quick. (laughs) Once you get past her initial storyline with her friend who tries to uh, Minecraft herself. Yeah. (laughs) Also, I'm not far enough in to spoil anything, but... uh, there's just a lot of fun, quirky characters. It's weird because, like, if I were to analyze each thing by itself, it feels like it'd be kind of basic. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, oh hi, D Rhino. Hi, uh, D Rhino. But at the same time, it's like the sum is more the the whole is more than the sum of its parts because mm-hmm. it all comes together in this weirdly compelling package that keeps you playing for hours on end. And you go, wait, how long have I been playing? Crap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
So do I recommend it? Yeah, uh, it's on. It's basically on every major platform now. Uh, it's on Game Pass if you have that and you just uh, want to sample it. Persona, the remasters of Persona 3 and 4 are coming out for next month. So yeah, uh, it's cool. it's all kind of cool. I, I'm also going to be curious to watch the anime at some point just to see how different the experience is. Yeah, the, um, <clears throat> the anime is pretty good. Um, they, they do uh, condense quite a bit. Um, yeah, I mean, most animes don't last 100 hours, so that's... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, it's uh, I I actually have to play the I, I tried playing uh, I played the original version um, and I, I gotta get into getting into the royal. Um, yeah, th th this girl here is very interesting so far. Yeah. Even though she hasn't like she seems kind of basic, but she also is like I don't know I feel like there's something here. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she's not in the original version, so that's yeah. yeah. She's a royal character. Yeah. Meanwhile, this girl over here, dang, if, if if I had actually played the game before, people could accuse me of ripping off my magpie wizard character Yukiko off of her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, hey, yeah, quite a, some similarities there. Yeah. Yep. So I, I guess it's a case of great minds think alike. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I would say overall, I recommend it to people who enjoy entertainment of a weebish nature. Yeah. So I hadn't realized how big this was. Like half of the guys at work have already played this game. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a yeah, it's a huge game. Yeah, yeah. and they're replaying it now because it hit Game Pass. Ah, so <laughs> so we end up talking about it a decent amount. Huh. But cool. anyway, yeah. uh, that's my overall thoughts there. Now let's get into 